Okay, with the judicious use of pry bars, screwdrivers, and hammers, we have separated the worm gear from the housing. I'm using a piece of wood, and the worm gear sitting on it, so I don't damage any of the teeth. And we get this close. There you go. So it just pops off then. Let's examine this worm gear. So it's got, uh, this apparently has 359 teeth. Uh, Byers was a well known worm gear maker at the time, and still is. And uh, he made it with 359 teeth so that it would spin in one sidereal day almost exactly uh, at one rotation. Um, and so this will generally be covered in various grease on all the teeth. Uh, this one I cleaned, uh, soaked in alcohol, and then scrubbed through the teeth and cleaned them all out. So this is a clean piece of metal. You'll have some scratches probably from where you just disassembled it, and so you might want to polish some of them out real fast. Um, I use, if you can get your hands on it, uh, this is Scotch Bright White. So everyone knows the green Scotch Bright pads. Uh, let's see, I have one laying around. So everyone knows the green scotch Bright pads, okay, you use them in the kitchen or in the garage or whatever. Um, but what you don't know, most people don't know, is that scotch Bright makes about 10 different grades of pad. And this white one is the lowest, softest grade. So this is equivalent to uh, four aught uh, steel wool, very, very fine. Um, and it's very good for things like polishing up aluminum like this. You know, you can, you can either use uh, soap and water or alcohol. Or actual metal polish but this won't scratch it up the green if we ran it over here you would slowly start to brush the aluminum and scratch it up this white you can sit here all day long and you won't scratch it. it's very very fine but it's good for cleaning up some of these issues and it's good for getting the grease off and things like that um, so I used that on all of these pieces take the worm gear safely off to the side so now we're left with we still have the right ascension uh, setting circle here, and this is the slow motion gear for the right ascension. Now we have the hub, and we see the three screws we couldn't get to before. So now we can take these out. And these are also American thread screws. In fact, I'm thinking that maybe that big giant piece that we took out. That might be the only metric one on here. And uh, I don't necessarily know why that is. Uh, it'd be interesting to find out. Uh, so let's take the rest of these screws out. Store these off to the side. Okay, so you can't tell where you are, so I'm going to be careful about flipping this over. This comes off, and here's a wire spring. And when you take the assembly apart, especially when it was upside down, the spring is going to pop out, so you need to be aware of it. And where it works is, if I zoom in here, 